Hey everyone, it's Jim here from Elliot, and today we'll be learning about a really great tool called Programmable Stop, and this allows you to put an interrupt into your program for you to do special things like open and close clamps and other useful steps that you might need to have in your program. So learn about it today on this video from Elliot Machinery. This part is not necessarily a part that I would want to use a programmable stop for. However, we could imagine this part is fixtured in such a way where a clamp has been applied to our top of our part or something like that. And maybe we want to measure a feature. Let's just pick a cylinder here. It doesn't matter what feature we use in this case. And we're going to go ahead and apply a cylinder uh, measurement here. And let's just say that we've got a clamp that maybe obscures part of this uh, feature for some reason. And inside of our strategy, uh, we'll have our clearance data and then our circle path measurements. That's great. But maybe what we would want to do is have an interrupt here for us to alert the operator to open a clamp, let the measurement take place, and then close the clamp when we're done. This can be done inside of the, the strategy window using what's called a programmable stop. So the programmable stop uh, is something that we will try out today. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one after the clearance data. And when you select on the programmable stop uh, setting here, you can enter in some text. So uh, let's give our instruction of uh, open the clamp uh, on the top of the part. There we go. And then naturally when we're done, we would want a programmable stop that says for us to close that clamp again. Now, this is all very well and helpful. And when we run through our program, it will tell us this information. Let's just try it out just to see. So we will have open the clamp. We can cancel the run, which will give us a red light or hit continue. It will measure and say then for us to continue after that. All very well and good, except that our probe based on our clearances will move right over top of the hole. That may not be able to give us enough movement uh, space for the clamp. So let's add in something else. Before the, for the first programmable stop, let's insert a CMM positioning point. Now, what we can do is we can make this relative to the feature. Now, I'm just going to use Cartesian coordinates. I'm going to put a movement that's exactly over the diameter, so 0 and 0. And I'm going to move this, let's say, up about 100 millimeters. And if I scroll back, you could see the little X mark there, which shows us our point right over the top. This is possible because I'm using the coordinates relative to the feature rather than relative to, say, the base alignment. And this makes it a little bit easier for you to figure out uh, values like this if you want to type them in. And what we'll do is we'll take that same movement and we'll apply it here. So We'll have our clearance data. It will move to this clearance special spot. We'll have our programmable stop. We'll measure. We'll move back up to the clearance. And then finally to the programmable stop again. You can use this technique for lots of different purposes. This, in this case, opening up and closing a clamp. Uh, we've used it to put a, a gauge block on top of a sharp edge, for instance, for checking a height. Uh, where the, the path to check that sharp edge would have not really been easily probed. There are all kinds of things that you might want to use a programmable stop for, and all it requires is to add it into the strategy. The safety moves are up to you, whether they are required or not. To learn about these sorts of advanced techniques, you should take the Advanced Calypso Training Program. You can find out more at elliotmachinery.com or by visiting our friends at the Zeiss website. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.